eat the Lord's Supper and next verse. For in eating, everyone takes before other his own supper. His own. So it doesn't come from Pastor Play. His own supper. And one is hungry and another is for in eating everyone takes before other his own supper so it's all about what? supper, what is supper? dinner, what is dinner? evening, meal, food for in eating everyone takes before other his own supper and one is hungry and another is and by the time my mother supper, you know, the cause of the book, the flower of the book, and the sheriff, and What have you not houses to eat and to drink in, or despise you the church of God and shame them that have not? What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I praise you not. Next verse. Zama Paga verse 26. Next verse. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. Tumesoma matuksoma. Tumesoma kawambia wa hendo wa tangeneza nini? Passover. Sitikweli. Now, what I want to explain here is the word. For I received of the Lord that which I also delivered unto you. Who is writing these things? Just look at the book and you know the author. Who is writing these things? It is Paul. So when he says... Uh, uh, for I have received. He does not say I receive. For I receive. He say, for I have. That is present participle tense. You know? For I have received of the Lord that which I also delivered unto you. Where did Paul receive it? From who? From Christ. Is it from Christ? Now Paul did not receive from Christ because that is where we link this. And what can other mean? What have I Holy Communion? I used to link this to the book of Luke Amma Matthew. Hallelujah. Paul learned this from Luke. Write it down. Because this is a language. He wrote it, he learned it from Luke. In due time I will show you. Hallelujah. For I have received of the Lord that which I also delivered unto you. He received it from Luke. Where we read first. Hallelujah. Because he was not with Jesus. It is Luke when you are at Jabana and Luke at Jabana Nani. He received it from Luke. That the Lord Jesus, that the Lord, that, are you getting? I'm telling you, I will buy you a shirt. You on direct? Now, I want somebody to report. He, he told Mutua that, we, we spoke that that is not report. He told me that he will. That the word that means it's not coming from me. I'm now quoting him. I get it. I can with it. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed. Remember, for I received. So he received from Luke. And he shown us received from the Luke, from Luke, that the same night was up Luke and Kua Pale. Now to Mesoma Luka Kitwadikia. Stumasoma. Now Nuao and Walikua Pale. I will not partake of it. So he's now quoting it. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed. Remember, this is after about 14 to 15 years plus. After yes, because we get the second Corinthians chapter 1 in I know of a man in Christ who 14 years ago. So and a report hit on more than 14 years back. Because of the between first Corinthians and second Corinthians, so it is more than 14 years. Hallelujah. That's why he says, Rudy Yuma. He says that, that, oh, that, can we go back? For uh, that the Lord Jesus, Joseph Paul is careful. He says, For I received. So he's only receiving. He received. So I told you, when you see the word Lord, it does not refer to God every moment you read God. So, so, even judges are called my Lord. Because that is the, the most famous lawyer today. For I have received uh -huh, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. Next verse. And when he had given thanks, we don't report speech and report. And when he had, because he's telling us what he received. 
So he has to quote in a reporting speech. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it, this is my body which is broken for you. This is my body which is broken for you. Do this, or this do, in remembrance of me. Next verse. After the same man also he took the cup. When he had supped, say, this cup is the new testament in my blood. This do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Verse 26. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death. Did he? So this is not Paul saying. Paul is reporting what he received from Luke and is reporting to us exactly the word Jesus spoke. Then Paul will teach us now what it means. By the way, so I'm going to bite for your verse. As often as you eat this, drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he comes. What is Jesus telling them? So what did Jesus was telling them with this? Because Paul is going to reveal it better. What Jesus is telling them is this. Whenever you take this bread, it is representing, because I'm not yet on the cross, so it will represent, as long as I've not gone there to be the bread, it is representing me. As long as I've not shed the blood where it should be shed in the kingdom, this one shall be a symbol for me. Are you getting me now? Now, do this and you do show the Lord's death till when you drink it you show the Lord's death till he had he come he had come had he come he had come you need to know coming there means what don't just say yes or no until he comes what he comes it means what what Jesus is telling them is that you will observe this thing you will do these things to symbolize my death until I come on the cross. Now you understand. Because when I come now on the cross, they will lose meaning because I will now become the Passover that has been prepared for you. But because I have not yet gone on the cross, this will continue to symbolize me until I come. Where? I come where? On the cross. Now you understand. So, what is do this in remembrance of me? Do this to remember what I'm going to do for you. Are you getting me, somebody? Yes. Hallelujah. You know, I don't care, even if I'm preaching for one person. Can you clap for those who are sleeping now? Hallelujah. So when he says, do this in remembrance of me, is it to remember what he did or what he's going to do? To remember what he's going to do. You will see. You will see how they remember the body cross. Indeed, they remember. So when he says, do this in remembrance of me, it is to remember what I am going to do. Are you together? Are we together? And that's why he says, drink this cup, you, to show the Lord's death until or till he comes, till he goes to the cross, till he comes to be this, the, 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 the Passover itself on the cross. Are we together? Hallelujah. Good. Now, let us read John Makwani, 1 Corinthians 11, verse 26. See, no? Let us read Exodus 15, verse 26. Exodus 15, verse 26. And I have 15 minutes to finish. Mimi sita kubembeleza ni kupea 30 minutes. Yuhuri kwa nyumbu kuwa foolish. And then turn on a kujanga pa Sunday. Tungekona na kutananga wikilis. Tunge kumbiria kwa nawe is enough. But I have to meet you. And I've captured you now today. Thank God I've captured you. So. <laughs> yeah, I've captured you. The true teaching does not take two hours. It takes about five hours. There is a preacher kwa tibia na ituwa. Sibinta kibu. Ukienda anafundisha ananza kufundisha asubuhi saa 2 atafundisha mpaka 6 almost 7 John and the church is full because people want to learn lakini hapa kidogo basi unataja maembe tena ti haiti yani kutaja chakula kama mfano ni kukosea sana but you will grow with time 
with the time tutafika mahali tutakuwa tunatoka hapa ibada ta 7 hours and somebody is saying bwana let me maliza mapema we should have finished after 12 hours i'm telling you mark this day and it shall come to pass can we read and say if thou will diligently hearken to the voice of the lord thy god and will do that which is right in his sight and will give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes i will put none of these diseases upon thee which i have brought upon the egyptians for i am the lord that healed that word is the word that is the origin of the word jehovah rafa the word rafa means what now we know that rafa means healer but now it means more than that <laughs> let me give you another meaning of the name rafa now the, the, the most thing you should know about rafa, it's not a healer it's healer healer means rafa means healer but now the very strong word for rafa is not even healer is immunity 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 hallelujah so what is saying for i am the lord that healeth you so now that word it means i will be your immunity i will be your immunity. so when you take healing, it means you will be sick and i will do what heal you but when you take immunity it means i will become your immunity so the blood of jesus when you receive jesus you have received immunity so you will not even be sick because immunity is in you every day to fight diseases so jesus is not waiting for you to be sick for him to heal you he becomes your immunity what is immunity immunity you in a bigana na all diseases are we together so when you receive the blood of jesus it means you have received the immunity to fight all diseases physical diseases like umeni malaria nini nini na pia spiritual diseases kama uongo uongo pia ni ugonjwa bwana yesu asifiwe sana hallelujah so he is promising i will be your immunity so he becomes the passover to him now when we read our oh, tasoma so jesus is our what immunity he is our healer and he is our healing so we could say he is our healing he is our immunity which means immune against sicknesses ama diseases for an Jesus person now i want us to read matthew 26 verse 26 to 29 and also observe the word do this in the remembrance of me that to observe the word do this in the remembrance of me because the message explain but i want to give you more confirmations because the bible has to be explained and to be confirmed is anybody if i teach anything i cannot confirm to you it is not good hallelujah can we read march 26 verse 26 to 29 sasa tumerudi kwa yesu mwenyewe si ndio sasa bali sasa nani alikotu kwa luke pia tutaangalia can we read as and as they were eating Jesus took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to the disciples and said take eat this is my body next verse was it the body so what is telling them is that this represent my body to come the body that will be hung on the cross but for now because i'm not on the cross it has to represent me because i am not dead there are we together let's read and he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them saying drink ye all of it uh-huh. for this is my blood of the new testament which is shed for many for the remission of sins so what remits sins what about this what remits sins rabina what remits sin broadway what remits sin prayer what remits sin the blood that is shed for you for the remission blood sawa sawa because blood ni lienda kwa mercy seed for the forgiveness of sin the word remission is forgiveness of sin next verse but i say unto you i will not drink henceforth for the fruit of the vine until that day when i drink it new with you in my father's kingdom so what is the father's kingdom the heart of man hallelujah So when he has done this now the man he will win the hearts of men back to God and now that is that God will stay will dwell in their hearts are we together because the blood was sprinkled on the mercy seat and in the hearts of men are we together good wewe ukikuna rabina inaendaga kwa heart ama kwa stomach ukikuna mgadi inaendaga kwa heart ama kwa stomach i getting these things 
We have to explain them. So when Jesus, when, when Paul is telling us what we have read, was he indeed quoting it or not? He was quoting it. We can see evidence anyway. Let us also read Luke 22, verse 1 again. Luke 22, verse 1. Can we read Luke 22 quickly? A bit. I have 15 minutes to finish. Or 12. Now the feast of unleavened bread drew nigh, which is called the Passover, mm -hmm. not Holy Communion. And the chief priests and scribes sought how they might kill him, for they feared the people. Uh, end of verse 8, because of time. Verse 8. Mm -hmm. Can we read? And he said, Peter and John say, Go and prepare us the Passover that we may eat. So Luke was giving this, this explanation to Luke because they were companions as well. Hallelujah. And then, Katika ile maelezo, sasa ya ta quote to the specific place because I'm going to look in the your poem and I will explain. Sasa. So, so. uh, next verse. Next verse. And he sent Peter and John, I uh -huh, say, go and prepare us the Passover that we may eat. Next verse. Very fast. Next verse. And they said unto him, Where will thou that we prepare? Uh, next verse. So, 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 so it is prepared. Uh -huh. And he said unto them, Behold, when you are entered into the city, there shall a man meet you, bearing a pitcher of water. Follow him into the house where he entered in. Mm -hmm. And you shall say, The mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh, verse 12. And you shall show him a large upper furnished. There make So I for you can sign it. Next verse. And they made ready. What was made ready? I thought it's for communion. The Passover. Next verse. And when the hour was come, he sat down and the twelve apostles with him. Among them, Luke, who now shares it with Paul. And Paul extracts the same from Luke and then he will teach us more. Paul and up from Lekit next. And he said unto them, With desire I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. Next verse. For I say unto you, I will not any more eat thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom. When was it fulfilled in the kingdom? On the cross? On the cross? Was it fulfilled on the cross? Was it fulfilled on the cross? It was fulfilled hallelujah, upon his crucifixion and resurrection. Hallelujah. Next verse. And he took the cup and gave so Paul and Hallelujah. And he took the cup and gave thanks and said, Take and said, But now Paul says that he took that because it's a report. Hallelujah. When you read the Bible, be careful with the grammar. And he took the cup and gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. Next. For I say unto you, I will not bring of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God shall come. On the cross. Uh -huh. And he took bread and gave thanks and broke it and gave unto them, saying, This is my body which is given for you. These two in remembrance. So, what is that? Do this to remember what I'm going to do. Because is he crucified? So, why would he say, Remember what I died for? Is he dead? What is his first Is he dead? Break it and gave unto them, saying, this is my body, which is given for you. These two in remembrance to remember what I have told you I'm going to. Pastor. He goes out. You can hear. So, next verse. Likewise, also, the cup after supper say, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. So, was the cup the New Testament? What is saying, this cup represents my blood, which shall bring the new testament. Is the new testament in place? No. The new testament will only come when it goes where? On the cross. 
So it is still representing what is to come. Are you getting me somewhere? Yes. So they have to remember that it represents what is to come when he goes on the cross, which is shed for for you. Is the blood shed on the cross? No. So it is something to to come. Are we together, somebody? Yes. Good. Next verse. Does someone have us? Look for the tomb, pack of us. No, I just think of verse 20. To my figure verse 20. Now, let us see when he says, do this in remembrance of me. John 14, 26. John 14, 26. John 14, 26. Can we read? But the comforter. Ah, bear to a mic. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. Wale wako na maisha sana wa tatu mimi na wawili now can we read but the comforter which is the holy spirit whom the father will send in my name whom the father will send so is he sent but he will be sent in whose name so the holy spirit is christ so if somebody asks you what is the name of the holy spirit you will tell them the name of the holy spirit is christ whom the father will send in yeah, what is saying? I am Christ, and the helper will come. Is me. His name is Christ because I am Christ. People think Holy Spirit is one person, Christ is another person. No, whom the Father will send in my name, He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Hallelujah. Whatsoever I have said unto you. So when you will receive the Holy Spirit of the New Testament, because the New Testament is of the Spirit. So when you will receive that Holy Spirit, now he will teach you all things and bring you to remembrance. And when he brings you to remembrance, you will remember the things I told you. And when you remember, now you will do away with bread and rapina because you will know that I fulfilled it when I went on the cross. Because when I went on the cross, then the Holy Spirit came. Because the New Testament is the testament of the Holy Spirit. Are we together? Yes. Hallelujah. John chapter 2, verse 22. A remembrance of what is about to happen. Are we together? John chapter 2, verse 22. Can we read? When, when therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this unto them, and they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had said. P.S. Macovin. Hey, hey, <laughs> hallelujah. Can we read it again? This is powerful. Hallelujah. When therefore he was risen from the after crucifixion, after resurrection, hallelujah, his disciples remembered that he had said this unto them, and they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had said. So it was not about bread. Now they remembered the bread was him, the blood was him. This is all. It was about Christ. It was not about all these other things. It was, so they remembered because the Holy Spirit came on them after what? Resurrection. On the day of Pentecost. From the day of Pentecost, they bring the death of Christ. They bring the resurrection of Christ. They bring the cross. They don't preach your marriage is coming, your miracle is coming, your business is expanding. No. They preach Christ, 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 Christ. Praise King Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, we are about to finish. So Ephesians 2 verse 6 will show you that communion is in Christ. Is not in bread. Hallelujah. Let us read Colossians, Colossians chapter 2, verse 6. Colossians 2, verse 6. I have three more to read, then we finish. Ephesians 2 6, can we read? And hath raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ. Has made us to sit together where? What is sitting together? Communion. We are now communing together in heavenly places. And where is heavenly places? In Christ. So is Christ in heaven or heaven in Christ? What is in Christ? Heaven places, which is in Christ. 
Jesus. Hallelujah. So the heaven is in Christ. And Christ is in heaven. Abide in me. And I will abide. I am in Christ. Christ is in me. <laughs> yeah, praise King Jesus. When we read from John chapter 6, I took some of my words and I came from verse 3 to 38, and then 48 to verse 66. Uh, you realize Jesus said, and he is insisting, he insisted, God was on a part of it, was on 53 and 54. He was saying that, drink my blood, and you will have life. Feed on my flesh. Hallelujah. He was teaching, oh, let us read. Hallelujah. Let us read. Because I'm finishing, I would rather teach you without skipping anything. Because I don't want to repeat this topic. Hallelujah. There's a lot of things to teach and preach. Hallelujah. Let us just read it. John 6, verse 3 to verse 38. So be open ready when I lack an amigo. John chapter 6 from verse 3. Are we there? Can we read all of us? And Jesus, Jesus went up into a mountain and, and there he sat with his disciples. Next verse. And the Passover, a feast of the Jews, was nigh. It was near. So he want to reveal things so that they don't confuse Passover. They were practicing. And the real person. When Jesus then lifted up his eyes, eyes so I can come and come unto him, he said unto me, Philip, When shall we buy bread that this may eat? Next verse. Mm -hmm. Next verse. Mm -hmm. And this he said to prove me. For he was sit down. Now there was much grass in the place, so the men sat down in number about 5,000. Uh -huh. And Jesus took the logs. And when he had given thanks, he distributed to the disciples, and the disciples to them. And, and likewise of the fishes as much as they knew. So what was distributed first? Bread. And then after bread, fish. That is Jewish culture. Number one, before giving you food, they give you bread. The same way Pastor Jay and I will give you more sin. The same way Pastor Junior will give you water. <laughs> yes. So when they give you bread, Hebrews, I'm a Jews, it is not food for them. It is in the that there is food yet to eat. Are you getting it? So don't confuse breaking of bread. Breaking of bread was just to usher now the real me. Come together. I, I will learning something here. Hallelujah. Let's continue reading now. When they were filled, he said, Gather up the fragments that you may, that nothing may be. At the years, we have done a good argument. Mama, who pick up a gun to me, you know, but King, was that to get the letter to go to some number and be much a good one. Say, you may come and say, make a time when I found one of the children of the Kula Kaskan. At the age of Penny Chakula Quarry Quarry. Hallelujah. Chakula Mukule now spare to Kushima Paka, Gunanda to Kuku. Oh, you are belching. Think me. Hallelujah. Next verse. Next verse. Therefore, they gathered them together and filled 12 baskets with the fragments of the five violins which is made over and above. And to them that had eaten. Next verse. Then those men, when they had seen the miracle that Jesus did, said, This is our truth that prophet should come into the world. I mean, I do each other for about 10 minutes. I can say to sit on my life about 10 minutes. So, to have one of our jinga can say, I was so me, I was to finish it. I can't to my channel. I but for that, it's one of our church and mature who want to know knowledge. Because when they were church, come as well, one of them will be what let her in back to the whole world. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. When Jesus thereof perceived that they would come and take him by force to make him a king, he departed again into a mountain in the center of the And he came here. So I want to show you a sketch of one of the other people who are going to but Jesus had learned because he wanted to make him a king, a king not by choice. By Jesus knew I did not come to be a king of the physical world, I came to be a king in their hearts. <clears throat> Next verse. 
That's why miracles are the kind of easy. See miracles, I know man. The real miracle is Christ. Uh huh. And when even he was now, ah, uh-huh. miki kumbwa upone. You want to say man miracle? Ukienda medical tibios, baada na pone. So it's a miracle because the tenam kuna sinano la pone. Can we read now? And when he even was now come, his disciples went down unto the sea. And entered into a ship and went over the sea to what Capernaum. And it was now dark, and Jesus was not come to the Renaissance. And the sea arose by reason of a great wind that blew. Mm-hmm. So when they brought about five and twenty or thirty farmers, they see Jesus walking on the sea and drawing nigh unto the ship, and they were afraid. But he said unto them, It is I, be not afraid. Then they willing to proceed into the ship, and immediately the ship was at the land with the men. Then following, when the people which stood on the other side of the sea saw that there was none other boat there, said that one went to his side. So, another chapter is called Sabi Mika. Na, walipo kuja kapata, kuna bot. Lakini mtenda mikati. Mwenye alikuwa na tumi bota hiko. They also left. Nikio mchungaji wa tumi ujiza nisha. Tumi be a member here. Atale. When I go somewhere, they are actually pastor mwenye, pastor mtai, anze kufundisha nebo. Asi anze mi ujiza mtai, anze pastor mtai. Because I kwa mi ujiza. Amen. So he went back in the boat. I want to bring him on the boat. Labda ngo ngingia kwa hiyo boat. Mwenye ameachwa hapo na hiyo boat. Labda ingefanya kitu angona not. Hallelujah. I can do now. The day following when the people which stood on the other side of the sea saw that there was none other boat there save that one whereunto his disciples were entered and that Jesus went not with his disciples into the boat. But that his disciples were gone away alone. How bait there came other boats from Tiberias night and to the place where they did eat bread. After that, the Lord had given thanks. Mm-hmm. When the people thereof saw that Jesus was not there, neither his disciples, they also took shipping and came to Capernaum. Next verse. And when they had found him on the other side of the sea, they said unto him, Rabbi, when comest thou? Next verse. Jesus answered them and said, Very, very, I say unto you, you seek me not because you saw the miracles. But because you did eat of the loss, and you were feeling a mulishiba, a mulikoshiba, and you had a job. So he did. So that's why he didn't help him. See how he had a job. Labor not for the meat which perishes, but for the meat and to the lasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him has God the Father seed. Then said they unto me, What shall we do that we might work the works of God? The job was not works because the job made on the works. Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God that you believe on Him whom He has sent. Next verse. They said thereof unto Him, What sign showest thou then that we may see and believe thee? What doest thou work? Oh, kwa sababu wende ule uchuka tunauliza. Uwe utafanya nini? Uchukua mini. Uchukua utafanya nini? What they are trying to tell you? Uwe na kukata ingini. Uchukua mini. Next verse. Our fathers. Unawana awali wana muambia. Hali wana jeku kwa suggest nini mataka ufanya. Our fathers did eat manna in the desert. As it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Mm-hmm. And you want to go to heaven, don't go to believe in heaven and you don't have to kill us. I don't approve from him. Next verse. Then Jesus said unto them, 
Therein will I say unto you, Moses gave you not a bread from heaven. The bread did not come from heaven. It is Moses who gave you. Give me another version. Give me NIV. You let him do You will get that quite a bit. For Moses gave you. Uh -huh. Are we there? Okay. Verse 9. Verse 9. Can we read? Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth. It is not Moses who has given you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. See, Moses, it was not true bread, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from where? So the true bread comes from? Meaning, whatever Moses gave you is not true. So it did not come from? Good, next verse. For the bread of God is he who I thought it should be. For the bread of God is it. But it says is he. Meaning the bread is a person. Uh -huh, good. For the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto them. So the bread is giving what? Life. Is giving life. And next verse. So Angalia. Underline your verse because the work of bread is to give life. So, so. Uh, next verse. Then said they unto him, Lord, every more give us this bread. Next verse. Then said they, uh, and Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that comes to me shall never hunger. And he that believeth on me shall never pass. When you drink my blood, you will never thirst to drink it again. When you eat my bread, you will never be hungry again to eat it on next Sunday. You will stay with that bread in you forever. You will stay with that blood in you forever. Here you no longer every Sunday to not go thirst again. Is it helping you? Hallelujah. And next verse. But I say unto you that you also have seen me. I believe not. Mm -hmm. I'm that bread that you are seeing me and still don't believe. Eh? All that the Father giveth me shall come to me. And him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. Next verse. Mm -hmm. For I came down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. Verse 48. Let's skip to verse 48. Verse 48. Oh, oh, let's read. Uh, uh, root drop. Now, on the time, come out of one of us to touch it, isn't it? To an elect, to an elect. Now that we are finishing, to an elect. Root it from verse 39. Verse 39. You're in 48. Root it through verse 9. Every verse is so good. Mm -hmm. And this is the Father's will. Which, which has sent me, that of all which he has given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. Mm -hmm. Next verse. And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. So the bread raises up, the bread resurrects. Hallelujah. But and when you eat, eat when you are careful because some ate and they slept, they died. But when you eat this one, you don't sleep, you live forever. <laughs> and the next verse, uh -huh. and the Jews then murmured at him because he said, I am the bread which came down from heaven. You are what I'm scared. I'm scared from me. And they say, Is not this Jesus the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How is it then that he said, I came down from heaven? Sasa wana sao, when trio mfanya mfalme kwa sababu mfanya mwujiza. Sasa wana sama, ah, so you go to America. So Baba, I can look up and I need to Joseph. Just because they don't want to hear the part of the truth. Next verse. Jesus therefore answered and said unto them, Mama not among yourselves. Let's go and read no man can come to me except the Father which has sent me to glory, and I will raise him up at the last day. 
it is written in the prophets, and they shall be all taught of God. Wait a bit, wait a bit. He does not say it is written in the Old Testament. He says in the prophets. Because Malachi is not Old Testament. Jeremiah is not Old Testament. Hallelujah. Isaiah is not Old Testament. He only prophets. That's why to live and be a prophet, Sam, na law. So law happened to Kunanini? Old Testament. Can we read now? It is written in the prophets. And, and they shall be all taught of God. Every man therefore that he hath heard and hath learned of the Father cometh unto me. Not that any man has seen the Father, save he which is of God. He has seen the Father. So I couldn't have my own above his before. Very, very, I say unto you, he that believeth on me. Have everlasting life, mm -hmm. the bread. I am the bread that I am that bread of life. I am that bread of life. So it is not that they be. It is not that. It is the bread of life. Bread of life. Next verse. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness, and they are dead. They ate those other breads you want to eat, and they. Uh -huh. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven, that a man may eat therefore and not die. So this is the bread when you eat, you don't die. Next verse. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh. It's not probably. Goja, goja, goja. And the bread, can we read? I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Where? On the cross. Next verse. The Jews therefore strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? When they had the great bread in the flesh, they could not agree. But then I want to clown on Felicia when you want to marry. Next verse. Then Jesus said unto them, The real, the real, I say unto you, Except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. I want to tell you, unless you eat the body of Christ and feed on his blood, you are dead. You don't have life. You will eat Libina, you are still dead. You will drink Libina, you will drink Coca-Cola, you are still dead. Hallelujah. You will eat bread of any kind on earth, you are still a dead man. Unless you feed on the flesh, unless you drink his blood. The blood of Jesus is the spirit of Jesus. The spirit of Jesus is the life of Jesus. That is what you need to protect. No other mistakes. And next us. Who so eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood has eternal life and I will raise him up at the last day. If you have taken that communion where you have taken the body of Christ, the body and the flesh the, the, and the spirit of Christ, you will never die. Even if you die physically, you will live forever. Amen. Next verse. <laughs> For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. What is the flesh indeed? What is the bread indeed? His body. What is the drink indeed? His blood. These other things, they are shadows. They are not indeed. They are not literal realities. Next verse. Next verse. Next verse. Your verse is only 55. Eh? Next verse. Can we read? He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and I in him. <laughs> you does not matter. Can we read again? He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and I in him. So, Nikikuna Raibina, does Raibina dwell in me? Do you dwell in Rabina? Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, next verse. Next verse. 
as the living Father has sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. When you receive Christ, you live by Christ. Because he's your bread and he's your drink. Next verse, next verse. This is that bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever, not dead. Hallelujah. Next verse. Verse 64. This thing said he in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. So mahala mbako watu bado wanakule hizo mavitu ni masinagogi, si makadisa. They are synagogues of devils. Hallelujah. Next verse. Because a synagogue was a place where the, the law was being taught. They were not teaching God. And next verse. Many thereof of his disciples, when they heard this, say, this is an hard say. Who can bear it? Next verse. When Jesus knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, Do this offend you? Hata nye mekasereka? Hata wajan kuliza. Nye mekasereka? Na wata chumimekudua kumpe siyo hiyo. Mekasereka na nye nye? Kuna ngini kiangalia mewazao, nasema sama nize. Kwa za hako mekunya tu juzi wakati umekua kasarani. Mekunya. Juzi tu. Nye 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 kari mekwana. Halele. Nye vile sana kuambia. Hallelujah. Good in here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Next verse. Next verse. What and if you shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? Next verse. It is the spirit that is weakened. The flesh profits. The flesh profits. So even if you keep the flesh bread and rapina and sold and coca cola and fanda, it profits. Nothing. It doesn't signify, symbolize, or have any value in the kingdom. Uh huh. Nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. What is life? The blood of Jesus. What is spirit? The blood of Jesus. So the word I'm speaking and teaching to right now, that is the Holy Communion. Hallelujah. And Jesus is saying here, it is not the bread and the rapina that is life. The words I'm now speaking to you is spirit and life. That's what the church needs to embrace. Next verse. But there are some of you that believe not. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that he did not. And who should, should betray him. He knew. Even here I know some of you who don't believe. After coming out of the service, you still go and you, you walk up. Next verse. Verse 66. And he said, Therefore, I say unto you, that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him. No man, what he's saying is that no man can come to me unless it is by revelation, unless the Father reveals me to him. Are you getting it? That's why Paul says, when it pleased God to reveal his son to me, I did not confer with flesh and because it is the father who reveals the son. So when we are teaching, we are revealing the son. Are we together? Verse 66, the last one. From that time, many of his disciples went back and they walked no more with him. Praise King Jesus. So the church needs to understand the truth. So Jesus never practiced holy communion. Hallelujah. He never. Not even the apostles. All of them. Praise King Jesus. Pagan rivalry. What is pagan? To practice things where God is not in those things. Next verse. We should not commit sexual immorality as some of them did. And in one day, 23,000 of them died. Next verse. We should not test the Lord as some of them did and were killed by snakes. Mm -hmm. And do not gamble as some of them did and were killed by the destroying angels. So who was destroying them? Angel. Next verse. 
These things happened to them as examples and were written down as warnings for us on whom the fulfillment of the ages has come. The fulfillment of, of ages has come on us. Next verse. So, if you think you are standing firm, be careful that you don't fall. Mm -hmm. This is the verse to everyone of us. Eh? Next verse. No temptation has ceased you except what is common to man. So, every temptation is common to man. Don't think when you are born again, you cannot be tempted. It has, is such common to man. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can stand up under it. So anybody who is saying, I am not going to be able to do it. I am not going to be able to You will overcome every temptation. Because under whose temptation is it? Next verse. Therefore, my dear friends, flee from my idolatry. Tell somebody to flee from my idolatry. Next verse. I speak to sensible people. Judge for yourselves what I say. And I just go and be quiet. Just go and my life and say my life. So that because I'm my life, when you know I'm my life, so that you pay next verse. Do we do we pull our phone and get ready? If you try to put one, he does not get ready. Can we read now? It's not the cup of thanksgiving for which we give thanks, but special in the blood of Christ. And it's not the bread that we break a participation in the body of Christ. Now, do you understand what he's saying? Ima mbeta na wambia wachina ina ndolati. Kumba na watichi kuruso, the kapa na wambia. It's not these things you are breaking until today in the churches. And is this not the blood of Christ that was already shed? Now, now, so may I know your verse. Because what do you want to keep like a kusoma? Try to have a 16. And the way they work of the land that you want to run a coya and a talk on the trip and a talk at the Babuzetu when the fine is of it now in Kufa. So, and a fifteen of us sixteen, one of us fifteen, not the human, and our own and a seven of one of us fifteen. I speak to sensible people, judge for yourself what I say. In our beer to about Wakonaki, Muele and the Hima, but in the Monga to Okuma, in our girl in a manisha, the kid was sixteen of the Kuna when you want a kid. So, I want a kid in a bit of pity direct. It's not the cup of thanksgiving for which we give thanks, but special in the blood of Christ. Nipe King James. Nipe King James. Have you understood there now? Let's read. It's not the cup of thanksgiving. Can we read? Hey, can we read now? The cup of blessing. Which you bless is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? He become a basum letter symbols. Inya Mujui, he in Ashria, the blood of Christ, and he went on the cross. Uh -huh. The bread which you break is it not the communion of the body of Christ that was already given to us on the cross? Are you getting it now? Yes. When is this first? Yeah. Uh -huh. Next verse. For we are being, for we are being many, are one bread and one body. For we are all partakers of that one bread. What is he saying here? Can we read again? For we are being many, are one. So who is the bread? We are bread. Now we are not bread. We are eating. So next verse now is explaining. We are the bread. So it is the bread. Samaki na kula samaki. Hallelujah. For we, being many, we are one bread and one body. For we are all partakers of that one bread. What bread are we partaking? Christ. That's what he says. So what he's telling, this one is now addressing verse 16. Is it not the blood that he shed? Is it not his body that already was crucified? So we are now the body. And we are partaking all of us. Him who is the one body. That's what he's telling us. Hallelujah. Next verse. Behold, Israel after the flesh are not they which eat of the sacrifices partakers of altar? Were they not practice? If it will not practice his physical foods in church. 
Were they not practiced by the Jews? That's what he's saying. Are you getting it? It was a practice by the Jews. Jews. And we are Gentiles. Gentiles did not participate on Jewish practices. Passover was a Jewish practice to remember how they were delivered from the bondage of slavery in Egypt. But it was also referring to Christ will become the real Passover to deliver us from bondage of sin. Hallelujah. Next verse. Verse 21. Next verse. What say I then? That the idol is anything of that which is offered in sacrifice to idol is anything? It's a question. But I say that the things which the general sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils are not to God. And I will not that you should have fellowship with the devils. Stop having fellowship with devils. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. You cannot be partakers of the Lord's devil and of the devil of devils. Hallelujah. When you receive the Lord in you, you partook the table of God. David knew by revelation, he said, you prepare a table before my enemies. What is that table he is preparing before the enemies? The enemy is Satan. The table that was prepared is Christ prepared on the cross to overcome the enemy so that I can be a conqueror. Yes. Amen. Are you getting it now? Hallelujah. So Christ was the table that was prepared. So Paul is telling them, you are participating on the table of Christ, communing with Christ, and now you go again to other temples to represent Christ. Once you have received Christ, you don't need anything to symbolize Christ. Amen. Because Christ represents himself in you. Amen. Praise King Jesus. Amen. Christ is personally in you. Hallelujah. Amen. So you don't need to represent anything. Soft. Soft. 